graduating class of 2006, we welcome all the parents, families, friends, and faculty to today's ceremony. We thank you for your support in getting us to where we are today and for sharing with us in one of the most important days of our lives. Today marks a milestone for the senior class as we bring to our close our high school experience and prepare ourselves for whatever the future holds. Today also marks a time of sadness as we say goodbye to old friends and look up back on times that we will never relive. Moreover, today marks a time of joy as we look to the future and celebrate our accomplishment in getting through four years of high school. As we sit here today awaiting our diplomas, we can all look back on certain events and experiences that have shaped us profoundly over the past four years, whether good or bad, difficult or easy. However, graduation is not a merely, a merely a time of celebrating what we have accomplished, <coughs> but also a time of moving forward and realizing that we have so much more to learn. We have established a foundation but now we must build upon it as we move out into the world and learn to be independent and productive. Today we remember where we came from and how we got here. We have spent 18 years in the care of other people and now we'll be, we will become the caregivers for ourselves and eventually for the next generation. We will decide where to go and what to do. So today we must challenge ourselves to do the right as Dr. Seuss said, you have brains in your head, you have feet in your shoes. You can steer yourself in any direction you choose. You're on your own and you know what you know. You are the guy who'll decide where to go. As we decide where we will go, let us not forget to reflect on the past 18 years of our lives to help us decide what plan has to take in the future. Congratulations on your accomplishments, seniors. 
parents, families, friends, and faculty. Thank you for all your support in getting us here. Again, on behalf of the graduating class of 2006, we welcome you to today's ceremony. And now, I will introduce Petra Al Sufi. Thank you. Good afternoon. I would like to welcome the Arabic community here um, and give them a speech in Arabic. Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Sayyidati, Sadati, nahnu khurrigi am alfeinu sitta, nrahib bakum wa nishkur hudurakum wa msharakatkum lana ahtifalina bhaadha al-munasaba sa'ida. Fa fi haadha al-munasaba, ahabba antaza al-fursa laqaddim jazeel al-shukr wa al-taqdeer wa al-ihtiram lakul al-aba wa al-ummahat, al-hadirin wa al-ghaibin anna, wa kul man huwa mawgur. إن هذا المناسبة ليست احتفالا بنجاح الطلاب فقط بل إنها تكريما لنجاح وإنجازات الآباء كذلك فبدون وقوفهم بجانبنا وإرشادهم لنا لن نستطيع الوصول إلى ما وصلنا إليه اليوم هذا إن وقوفنا في هذا المكان ووجود دفعة تضم أول مجموعة من الطالبات العرب ليس بالشيء القليل بل هو يوما سيكتبه تاريخ الجالية العربية في كولوارو إن هذا الموضوع قد استغرق وقتا طويلا وجهدا عظيما ونظرة مستقبلية من الآباء لقد كانت الطريق وعرة ومليئة بالعقوبات بالصعوبات ولكن إرادة الطالب والوالدين أو إرادة وإصرار الطالب وتشجيع الوالدين جعلها طريقة مليئة بفرص التعلم لقد انفتح الطريق وبعض المخاف تم التغلب عليه ولكن قادم من المستقبل أكبر من الذي قد تم إنجازه بل كل منتظر إنجازات القادمات من الطالبات وإجتهاد أكبر من الطلاب إن هذا الدفعة قد فتحت الطريق أمام الآخرين وأتمنى أن يواصل المشوار وعدم العودة إلى الخلف بل التقدم إلى الأمام بقوة أعزائي الآباء باسمي واسم جميع الخريجين والمعلمين وإدارة المدرسة أقدم لكم وافر الشكر وأحر التهاني بنجاحكم هذا المكلل بنجاح أولادكم وأشكر لكم شجاعتكم ونظرتكم للمستقبل وشكر خاص إلى والدي العزيزين على كل ما قدموه وعلى صبرهم ووقوفهم بجانبي وجانب أختي وأتمنى أن يكونوا فخورين بنا كما نحن فخورين بهم وخيرا شكر كبير إلى أختي وصديقتي بالقيس على مشاركتك على مشاركتك في هذا المشوار ولا زار مشوارنا طويلا وشكرا. And lastly, I would like to thank all my teachers and all my friends for all their support. And would like to introduce Nirma Orzan. And now I would like to say some words of encouragement in Spanish. Queridos padres de la familia, bienvenidos a la ceremonia de graduación de los alumnos de 2006. Este día tan especial es dedicado a ustedes. Se lo debemos a su amor y apoyo durante estos 12 años escolares. Ustedes nos dieron la vida y nos dieron crecer. Por eso parte de ustedes vive a nosotros y parte de este logro les pertenece. Todo lo que hemos logrado ha sido por su persistencia. No hay palabras suficientes para expresar nuestra gratitud. Si no hubiera sido por sus esfuerzos, en este día no estaríamos aquí. Gracias por pensar en nosotros antes que ustedes y tomar la drástica decisión de buscar nuevas fronteras para darnos un futuro mejor. A partir de hoy dejamos de ser adolescentes para convertirnos en adultos y empezar una nueva vida y una larga jornada en nuestras vidas. Hoy, al recibir nuestros diplomas, queremos agradecerles infinitamente por no dejarnos caer, por estar siempre ahí a nuestro lado día y noche por creer en nosotros y hacer de nosotros personas de bien, y más importante, por guiarnos en el camino correcto. Es un día como hoy que todos sus esfuerzos y desvelos son re recompensados. Y es hoy que con mucho orgullo por fin podemos decir, sí se pudo. Muchas gracias. Thank you. Good afternoon. As you look about you today, it is easy to focus on the sea of red and white that is the class of 2006. Our achievements have been great, and today is a sign that greater achievements are yet to come. The diplomas that we are soon to receive are but a symbol of that achievement. But though each diploma bears our name, I stand here today to suggest that each diploma is not only our own. Also gathered here today, 
is a body of individuals who are not clad in red and white, whose names are but listed in the program, yet as much a factor in our own success as our own hard work. Today, these individuals graduate with us as they have with many classes past and will with many classes to come. They have devoted their lives to ensuring that we cross this platform to greater things and have done so selflessly. They are our teachers. Calvin Coolidge once stated, quote, no person was ever honored for what he received. Honor has been the reward for what he gave. If from the dawn of man, from the day of our birth, one body has existed solely to give, it is our teachers. For this we give them thanks. Thank you, teachers, for devoting long hours to a family that you knew as well as we would soon part. Thank you, teachers, for listening far more than lecturing. Thank you, teachers, for finding something nice to write in red ink on that paper we wrote and wished we never had. Thank you, teachers, for pruning our vocabularies of words like impossible and desperate and replacing them with words like challenging and hopeful. Thank you, teachers, for growing old with us, but never growing up. And a special thank you to those teachers retiring this year, to those who have reminded us that luck is a matter of preparation meeting opportunity and have given us both. Your contribution has not ended, but grows with each footfall across this stage today. On behalf of humanity and the class of 2006, thank you, teachers, for making our lives your passions. been here today without, without all of the loving care you have provided us. Moms and dads, you have guided us through life, helping us take our first steps and teaching us how to talk. You taught us how to ride a bike, and even though we fell off, got frustrated, or wanted to quit, you were always behind us to hold us up until we got going again. Lending a hand, being patient, standing behind us, and holding us up until we got going does not only apply to riding a bike, however. You have been supporting us in these ways every day for the last 18 years. You have steered us in the right direction, helping us avoid falling over or hitting the occasional curb or mailbox. For most of us, though, falling off was inevitable. But when we did fall, you were right behind us to help us up, wipe the dirt off, 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 off our knees, get us back on our bike, and set us up riding again. I would like to take this opportunity to thank my own parents. I would like to thank my grandparents who have traveled over 900 miles to be here today. I thank them today for having helped me learn to ride this bike of life, for getting me going, for helping me when I fell off the road astray, and for motivating me to keep on trying and wanting to ride. Merci pour toutes les choses que tu as fait pour moi pendant ces dernières années de ma vie. Merci pour avoir fait mes langes pour l'école, pour m'avoir aidé, aidé avec tous mes projets d'école. J'espère qu'un jour que je serai le père que tu as toujours été pour moi, superbe et extraordinaire. Mamie, papi et grand-papa, merci d'être venu de la Beauce pour venir me voir aujourd'hui. Je vous aime tout, sans fin. Merci. Thank you. Before I introduce the valedictorian and salutatorian for the class of 2006, I would like to just take a second and honor the academic accomplishments of this entire class. This class contains 100 plus State of Michigan Merit Scholars, 34 Presidential Scholars, 92 students with a 3.0 GPA or better, nine students with a 4.0 or better GPA. Total cumulative class average for the class of 2006 is 2.8. And most importantly, 
231 outstanding young men and women. You will be rewarded throughout your life for the extra effort you have put forth to achieve academic excellence during your high school years. During the past four years, I've watched you grow more poised and confident in your abilities. You have contributed much to your school. You've shared your accomplishments in music, art, and athletics with the community, and in doing so, have enriched the quality of our school community. You are now the standard by which we will measure future academic success. I am very proud of all of you and your families. Success in the future is determined by preparation in the present, and the present is good. At this time, it's my honor to introduce to you the number one student in the class of 2006. He's earned a grade point average of 4.10 during his four years in high school, including 13, set, excuse me, 13 semesters of advanced placement studies. Valedictorian for the class of 2006 is Patrick Nagel. Please come forward. Patrick was additionally recently honored as being named a National Merit Scholar Finalist, achieving status in the top 1% of all high school seniors in the United States. <laughs> Salutatorian for the class of 2006, is Jay Billsborough. Jay has earned a grade point average exceeding 4.0 also throughout his high school career. Also includes 11 semesters of advanced placement studies. It seems very appropriate for me to present to you this award here in the center of our track. Fellow seniors, 12 years ago, we, we began on a road together, which at the time seemed so very long. Now in retrospect, it surely was much shorter than it originally seemed. But along the way, we made countless friendships. Today, we gather one last time before we set off on the next road of our life journey. I will never see or speak to most of you ever again. So I would like to take the opportunity to thank my friends. But these are not simply my words, but the words of each senior here today, from one friend to another. Dear friend, if there is one thing I will always appreciate, it was your friendship. Through thick and thin, we fought together, sang together, danced together, and worked together. We played together, studied together, laughed together, and dream together. When I needed help with homework, you were there to teach me. When I wanted to have fun, you were there to put a smile on my face. When I needed a shoulder to lean on during one of life's trials, you were there to hold my head and dry my tears. Sometimes no one would listen, but you always did. Sometimes I had no money, but you always had a spare dollar or two. In fact, I probably still owe you one. Sometimes the words of others would hurt me, but you never left my side. As Proverbs 18.24 states, there is a friend who sticks closer than a brother. Although you are not my brother or sister by blood, I still hold you dear as though you were. As I go off to new lands, meet new people, and begin a new chapter of my life, I will make new friends, but I will never forget the impact you had on me. We may be separated by towering mountains or vast oceans, but you will always live within my heart. 
When I die someday, I will not reminisce over the many theorems and theories I learned, nor the works of literature I read. Instead, I will remember the many people who made me who I am today, the many friends who comforted me when I was alone. Thank you for the good times and the bad. Thank you for the tears that drew us closer together and the laughs we shared. Thank you for your secrets and stories. Thank you for always being patient with me. Thank you for your trust and your love. But above all else, thank you for being my friend. Before I begin, the uh, current score in the Detroit Pistons game is Cleveland 43, Detroit 46. Presidential, presidential scholars are those students who have completed a stipulated course of study. This national award was established to encourage students to achieve at the highest academic standards by recognize and recognizing and rewarding them for educational excellence. A minimum of 3.5 overall grade point average, a minimum score of 24 on the ACT, or a composite score of 85% on a national achievement test, and having earned at least four credits in English, three in science, three in math, uh, 3.5 in social studies, 2 in foreign language, and half a credit of computer programming. Students involved in obtaining four credits of band or choir are exempt from computer programming. This year, as Mr. Heaston said, 34 students were thus distinguished for receipt of this national award. Would the following presidential scholars please rise as I, as I name you. Please hold your applause until all the scholars have been named. Petra Al Sufi, John Barrett, Christina Becker, Jameson Billsborough, Devin Blanchard, Andrea Blashfield, Chelsea Brayton, Jennifer Brewer, Ransom Brown, Felix Carrion, Brooke Cooper, Pierre Charles Dubay, Justin Fast, Victoria Fisher, Joel Fowler, Ryan Gleason, Matthew Gaylor, Stephanie Grawl, Rachel Hutchins, Seth Knowles, Aaron Lake, Kelly Moninger, Patrick Nagel, Jennifer Noblet, Mary Oliver, Kelly Olmstead, Sarah Pattison, Emily Plodzik, Laura Smith, Micah Tomlinson, Alexander Watkins, Christina Weigel, Brandon White, and Rochelle Wilson. Thank you. Okay, Ranson, what's the score now? John Vance was a 1975 graduate Coldwater High School. We believe he represents the highest standards of character and achievement to which all students of CHS should aspire. He was not just an athlete, nor an honor student, nor a student leader. He was all of these. On May 25th, 1982, John lost his life to a year-long battle with cancer. In memory of John Vance, we the faculty and staff of Coldwater High School will honor Jay Billsborough, who represents the highest standard that John amplified. Jay, would you please come forward? exchange student this year and I would like to say that for most of us exchange students 
coming to the United States is one of the best things we have ever done. People often ask, what have you done since you have been in the United States? Some of us answer, go to New York, to Florida, to Niagara Falls, but that is not important. What makes this experience the best is all the people we met along the way. That is the most precious present I have, all the friends, and it, uh, it's also the reason we'll, it will be very difficult to say goodbye. I can help to compare the moment of your graduation with the time we left our countries and everything we have ever known. A period of our life was done, but a new one, a scary and exciting new step of life was coming. At this moment, seniors can probably think on someone that they don't want to forget, someone special that has been with them through all these years. Forgetfulness was one of the fears these change students had. Forget places, faces, moments, importance for us. But the beautiful thing is that within us there is an infinite space for them. So we can always remember them. And um, if there is a reason, there are so many people in the world. For me, it will be that whatever you do and wherever you go, you always find someone to laugh with, someone to help you, and someone to love. The time for us to go home is getting closer and closer. And we're happy because we're coming back to our friends, our family, but we're also sad because we're leaving our families and friends behind. The most valuable thing everybody gave us, teachers, parents, host parents, classmates and friends, is the acceptance, dedication and care they have shown. I can't think in any way to pay you back, but for those of you who are about to make a big change in your life, we can give you some advice. Take some pictures of those you love, write down some phone numbers, and embrace everything that comes next because life is waiting. Thank you. I would like to introduce the exchange students of 2006 and their host families. As I say your name, exchange students and host parents, please stand up. Abishaya Chantong from Thailand and her host parents, the Eagles. Car <laughs> Karen Chen from Taiwan and her host father, Mr. Stoy. <laughs> ben Chen from Taiwan and his host parents, the Wins. And Catherine Primmel from Germany and her host parents, the Kellys. Hevic Lima from Brazil and his host parents, the Vargos. Justin Pan from Taiwan and his host parents, the Lakes. William Singh from Hong Kong and his host parents, the James Gangs. Michael Sun from Taiwan and his host parents, the Harris. Jian Jun from Korea and her host parents, the McRae. And myself, Anna Ripere from Spain and my host parents, the Krasanskis. And again, the most special thank you of all goes for our host families. Thank you so much. I would like to recognize Mr. Mullally at this time. Mr. Mullally. Mr. Mullally has been a significant part of the commencement activities at Coldwater High School for many years, many years. Many years. <laughs> Your dedication to academic excellence 
will never be surpassed. On behalf of the many, many classes of CHS seniors that you've announced their name as they've walked across this stage, we all thank you. I would first like to thank my family for their unwavering support and unconditional love. We've made it. We've finally reached graduation day. This day has been a long time coming, and I sincerely admire every one of you for having made it here. I feel privileged to be able to address you one last time before we leave. We've been talking a lot about the past today about all of the wonderful contributions that parents, friends, and teachers have made to our lives. This focus on the past is appropriate because graduation day marks the end of our years in high school, the culmination of the last 13 years of our schooling. But graduation day is also a beginning. It is somewhat of a miracle that the narrow confines of Coldwater High School could contain so many vibrant, interesting and different people for so long. High school's been something like an anchor, keeping us all firmly grounded in cold water. Now that high school has ended and we're free to venture out into the world, a new era of possibility and potential is upon us. I say possibility and potential because this new freedom guarantees nothing in the way of success or happiness. Indeed, freedom is sometimes more of a burden, for it forces us to choose the direction of our lives and hold only ourselves accountable for the results. We must take it upon ourselves to make the most of this opportunity to start fresh. Life is short. Some of us have learned this lesson far too well already. Do something amazing with it. Struggle, strive, achieve, live. Don't hesitate. Dream and change. If something stands in your way, clear it with all the force you can muster. Try and fail and come out all the wiser. Hold yourself to your own standard. Regret nothing. Looking into the future, this class, as any, We'll have a class reunion. I hope that amidst all of the small talk, snacking, and reminiscing, I can come up to each one of you and ask, what have you been doing since high school? And you will be able to say, truthfully, I've been doing what I've always wanted to do. Class of 2006, let's show the world what we're made of. Thank you. <laughs> Will the members of the class of 2006 please rise? On behalf of the faculty and administration of Coldwater High School, I present the class of 2006 to the Board of Education and in doing so, verify that each member has met the requirements for a diploma and is entitled to all of the rights, privileges, and responsibilities pertaining thereto. By the authority of the state of Michigan, vested in the Board of Education, and by them delegated to me as President, I hereby confer upon you the Diploma of Coldwater High School. Please be seated. Will the graduates now please come to the platform to receive their diplomas?
ladies and gentlemen, it's my pleasure to introduce to you one last time the class of 2006. Pierre Charles Dubay. Jameson Brendan Billsboro. Norma Luz Arizon. Petra Abdulela Al Sufi. Mary Catherine Oliver. Patrick Charles Nagel. Alexander John Watkins. Justin Ray Fast. Ana Rui Perez Nunez. Ransom Warner Brown. Kelly Lynn Olmstead. Devin Dean Blanchard. Christina Renee Becker. Joel Thomas Fowler. Crystal June Labrosse. Brooke Danielle Cooper. Victoria Sue Fisher. Rochelle Jolene Wilson. Matthew Richard Gaylord. <laughs> Rebecca Yvette Brocker. <laughs> Monique Marilyn Dunn. <laughs> Andrea Faye Blashfield. Bilkis Abdulayla Al Sufi. <laughs> Tiffany Nichelle Thurman. <laughs> Tara Lynn Stuckey. Sarah Louise Pfeiffer. Victoria Ann Robinson. Rachel Elizabeth Lee Withrow. Melissa Ann Harvey. Lacey Joe Dyer. Brianna Alexis Beckner. Abdul Ahmed Salem. Yeah, 
Saeed Nasser Askar. Sean Michael Cook. Cameron Joseph Tharp. Jessica Lynn McQuiston. Aliyah Norma Jean Nabak. Emma Lou Hefner. Sarah Ander. Ashley Marie Bischoff. Jacqueline Marie Poole. Brandy Nicole Drake. Heather Ann Wheaton. Jamie Leanne Warren. Brooke Elaine Boyder. Tiffany Bernice Parsons. Dusty Linda Water. Eric Ryan Grubbs. Allison Marie Callahan. <laughs> Travis Lee Mather. Aaron Charles Lunicky. Matthew Allen DeGroat.
Alexander Robert Tyler Lewis. Sarah Pearl K. Russo. Kaylin Rose Loveless. Nicole Bud. <laughs> Catherine Ann Glowy. <laughs> Bobby Marie Lynn Anthony. <laughs> Rochelle K. Piper. Yeah. 
Catherine Van Stelly. Caitlin Ann Warner.
Jenna Patricia Garnett. Ashley Marie Bolofsky. Aaron Michelle Link. Allison Lynn Hall. Joseph Hart Haverhill. Michael Douglas Ty. Shane 
Alexander Obershaw. Stephen Joseph Hemker. Patrick Michael Mata. Yeah, 
Yoon Chen. Chungting Ban. As we look back at our years here at Coldwater High School, we have many people to thank. Our teachers have challenged our minds, our parents and families have been supportive of our efforts, and our friends and classmates have provided camaraderie and friendly competition. All of these things have come together to provide us with a foundation for the future, a foundation for us to build upon, which can only be constructed with the bricks and mortar of education. To the seniors, I say that high school graduation serves as a success marker for many people. Most people will look back on their high school graduation and mark their progress in life since that day. I believe this day will serve as our personal life marker, the day when the 2006 CHS graduating class quest for success really began. 
Success is not how high our GPA was. Success is not the number of clubs we joined. It is not measured in athletic accomplishments, nor is it how high our salaries will be or how many degrees we will possess. Success is knowing we have the power to do anything we set our mind to and then working hard to accomplish those goals. Success means something different to each one of us, but we all can achieve it with hard work and dedication. Awards can be revoked, salaries can be reduced to nothing, but knowing we have the potential to accomplish anything can never be taken away from us. Life is a long journey, meant to be lived to the fullest, not merely endured. Today is the day we blast off on life's journey. I say to all of you, love the journey and enjoy each step. Delight in the ordinary, as well as the extraordinary. Savor the simple and marvel at the complicated. Live rather than exist. I want each and every one of you 2006 CHS graduates to have great lives full of love and laughter. Thank you for a superb four years. I would like to give a special thank you to my family for supporting me through all of my school years. Good luck to all of you. I wish you success and happiness, and may all your dreams come true. At the conclusion of today's program, you're all welcome to join us in the cafeteria for refreshments. All the graduates will pick up their diplomas and uh, that's where we'll meet you. Members of the class of 2006, I now welcome you as alumni of Coldwater High School. Please rise, move your tassels to the left side, and be presented to the audience. Ladies and gentlemen, the class of 2006. Congratulations, and thank you all for coming.